Sometimes I'll start out here like smoking a cigarette and drinking a beer and then I'll get into something on accident and everything. But if I'm working, I usually have to have my apron on, which is there. Just because it holds, it's like a thing, it like puts me in thinking mode. David Alexander Clark Jr. and I build things. I was behind the computer doing graphic design and needed something more tangible in my hands, three-dimensional, and went after building. Started doing custom decks, went into cabinetry, went into furniture, got laid off, and now I'm doing whatever needs to be done. There's a lot of carpenters in the world, probably more than bankers, you know, or graphic designers these days. Uh, but there's not very many carpenters that pay attention to details. I guess there's the two different degrees. There's bench carpenters and then there's finished carpenters. And, but to find someone, there's not very many carpenters that, that really care about the product or care about the project. They kind of want to go in there for the paycheck and hit three o'clock and they're out of there. Gabe Lewin is the, is the man who taught me most of my trade. It wasn't like the uh, union apprenticeships where you have apprentice one, apprentice two, then journeyman. It was more along the lines of, here you go, don't fuck shit up. <laughs> and so you're just kind of getting thrown in the weeds and learning through questions and answers. But there weren't, there weren't stages inside of it. I showed an interest in it, and then from there, I had to press on that interest for a long time before it. he showed an interest in me. I don't feel that I've developed my own style yet where someone would look at my work and say that's a David Clark piece. But I think I'm trying to figure my niche out. A lot of people will do like only metal, you know, only uh, architectural steel, like where they do like wrought iron gates and stuff like that, or only woodworking or whatever. And I like to dabble in all of it. I would like to, I would like my niche to be as an artist and not necessarily as a metal worker. Oh, good work.